Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. So you could say the 30th or the 31st through the 5th, 6th, 7th, something like that of November, the next seven days. Um, it's the 30th, but it's being recorded. So you could say through the 6th, November 6th, or whatever. Um, the timing is fluid, seven days from the day to, that you watch it. Now, typically before I turn the camera on, I get a little message or I, you know, have a little conversation with somebody. And uh, <laughs> I heard, I'm about to lose my cool. And I said it out loud. I was sitting here and said, I'm about to lose my cool. And I don't know if it's you that's about to lose your cool or if it's me. Somebody, and it's over money. I think it's over money. I think it is. It's like, everybody wants my money. Okay, everybody wants my money. <laughs> I'm about to lose my cool. So I don't know if you're about to lose your cool or if, or if maybe it's me that's about to lose their cool. Somebody's about to lose their cool. But anyhow, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got for Pisces? Oh! This just fell out. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So we have a, there's an arrogant, boastful person here that you should not cross. What else do we have for Pisces? It says you should not cross. Interesting. Um, Bob, maybe you're that person that should not be crossed. Ooh, pineapple, reconciliation. Somebody's going to be reconciling with somebody. You know, this is my second Pisces reading. I did one last night for you all, and uh, I watched it this morning, and uh, my makeup was messed up, so I had to do it over because there's always idiots out there who can't keep their mouth shut. So anyhow, um, there's going to be a reconciliation. There's going to be a reconciliation, and I saw that with the other one as well, between soulmates, okay? Whether somebody's leaving you. We had casket in this deck. We had casket which was uh, the death of a situation, someone leaving your life, or the end of a situation. Um, so something is happening. Something is, there's, gonna, there's an ending here. And somebody is reconciling. They're reconciling with a soulmate, probably from you know, a past life or something. Either you're the one that's reconciling, or somebody that you have been waiting for or holding on to is reconciling with somebody that they are, it's a soulmate connection. Ooh, shared values. So we have two people that are going to be partnering up that have shared values. Now I think that I think that Taurus got this as well. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, but or your other person is dealing with a Taurus. But this is I don't know the shared values. This is somebody that you have uh, values. You know you have the shared values, or they do. This is a new deal, striking up a new deal with somebody. Two people are coming together that have the same outlook. They have the same way of doing things. They have the same goals. Missed opportunity. Maybe there's been a missed opportunity. Now it's time. Now it's time to come together with this person. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Let's just cut the back and see what we got. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. To be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for sure. Okay, that's what it looks like to me. Sorry, I can't get a hold on the things because it's one of those days. So anyhow, we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that is very solid, very hardworking, business oriented, very focused on stability, insecurity, money, finances, work, 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 work. So we got a worker here. Um, this is somebody that has a lot to offer. Business, business, but this is business. It's a bit, I don't know. And then the Seven of Pentacles is investment. It's, we may have a business investment here. Somebody may be investing in a new business deal. We have shared values. Um, putting in a lot of effort. I mean, this is this is somebody that can grow things. This is a, these are both cards of growth. You know, takes takes time, puts in a lot of effort to to cultivate. So I feel I feel like uh, there could be a relocation here. Somebody may be relocating. 
Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a mother. This is somebody that is very nurturing. This is a homemaker, a businesswoman. Um, devoted somebody that is very devoted very financially set as well has some sort of skill that makes them money that can make them money i feel like we have a new investment here if you add this pentacle to this we get the eight of pentacles this is something work it's about work this may be a new job opportunity Ooh, now the Seven of Pentacles is out on right front and center. So this is about investment. It's about um, reward. You know, somebody is looking for more. I feel like they've reached a point where there's nothing left here. The ground is no longer fertile. In order to have that ultimate abundance, it's time to invest someplace else. You know, this, this, I think we have a new investment here. It's, it, it is. This is the card. To me, the Seven of Pentacles, a card of relocation. This is a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. Now you've reached the peak. Okay, you've reached the peak. You have to plant those seeds someplace else. And I also feel like seeds that were planted some time ago are now coming to fruition. It's now it's time. Now it's time to invest in this new golden opportunity because the Queen of Pentacles holds that golden opportunity in her hands. Okay. King of Swords, making a definite decision to invest using your head, use your logic. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a definite decision. It's a challenging decision, but this is somebody who has done their research. They've thought about it. Um, five of Pentacles below you. There's been some sort of financial hardship or financial struggle. So that's why this is coming up. Seven of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, Judgment reversed, Strength reversed, King of Pentacles, which makes sense, and the Nine of Cups reversed. Some of you may be involved in a third party situation. Somebody may be already engaging with somebody else. Um, you know, communicating and getting together and discussing the plans or something like that. Um, page of swords reversed right now a message is coming it may not be what you want to hear you may be caught off guard by something maybe you are caught off guard there could be an enemy disguised as a friend here um, there is somebody here that could be working against you maybe you know it maybe it could be a child it could be this is somebody that is is um, there's a little bit of an age difference up or down however you want to look at it I feel like you've been struggling, you've been trying to maintain some sort of position, but you've probably reached some sort of breaking point where you can't do it anymore. Maybe you are about to lose your cool. This is definitely about money <coughs> because the Queen of Pentacles is all about money. So, and the King of Pentacles is all about money as well. So this is about money, it's about stability, it's about long-term abundance. I feel like we have somebody here that is really thinking about where they should invest. First two cards. I mean, that's right now. King of Swords is a thinker, somebody that is very intelligent, that you has, you know, uh, been thinking about where to go next. Anyhow, in your future, we have the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, that's your near future. So that's emotional. I don't know if there's some sort of emotional upset here. You may be having a conversation with somebody in the very near future that, it, it, I don't know, maybe it's emotionally upsetting because the Queen of Cups is in reverse in your future position, your near future. This is a disappointment. It's a, it's, it may be an emotional disappointment. I feel like there's been a lot of uh, financial struggle, financial hardship here or, or uh, abandonment or neglect or somebody hasn't been... Um, doing what they said that they were going to do or they're they're not really putting in any effort they've been uh trying hard it feels like we have somebody here that it's interesting because it's like there's financial struggle they've been trying hard to make something grow or make something work but it's not really working out Seven of Wands reverse, admitting defeat, giving up, giving up this position. 
Somebody is giving up a position that they have been holding on to. And I feel like they've received a message or they received some news or they received some information that has caused some sort of inner conflict or caused some conflict or, you know, maybe this is a troublemaker that has told somebody something or something like that, which causes this upset. It's definitely an emotional upset. Uh, somebody may have decided to leave maybe because this is like the king of swords next to the seven of pentacles this is like a decision to invest in something else a decision to leave perhaps so we may have somebody here that has made a decision to leave um or to go invest in something else um your advice judgment reversed is to move on move on from that bad choice Okay, that's the meaning of the card. I feel like it, there's a need to listen to advice. There's a need to uh, accept. And I feel like there's a lack of acceptance. There's a lack of acceptance of truth. You know, we're not wanting to accept the truth. Somebody is being dishonest. They're, they have not been telling the truth. And I feel like it's, it's hard to accept that you're dealing with... You could be dealing with somebody that is pretty non-caring. All they care about is money. You know, that's what they care about. And maybe it's you. I mean, you may be the one that just can't. We have somebody here that is really focused on their financial stability. Okay, that's where, that's where it's at, okay? That's where it's at. Um, anyhow, strength card reversed. Strength card. And, and, and maybe your person is leaving or you're leaving to connect with somebody that has the same mindset, you know? This is about having the same mindset. We, I feel like we have somebody here that is very emotionally unstable. Their emotions are all over the place. They can't master their emotions. You know, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but we have the Queen of Cups in reversed. Okay, that's and there could be a lack of love here. I mean, there's no free flow in love. That, 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 that's like an unrequited love situation. Somebody may be in a situation that they absolutely don't love. You know, um, strength card reverse and your outside influence. You may be dealing with somebody that is ca cowardly. This person could be lazy. They may have... Um, no respect for others. I mean, the strength card reverse could be a forceful person who is very, very controlling, that doesn't have respect for others, that likes to be in control, that uh, is has a really, really, really big ego. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is weak. You know, they're weak in some way. They're weak. They have a big ego. They're controlling. That's who you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody that um, is also probably lazy. There's also some poor health here. You could be dealing with somebody that is is not very healthy. You know, they're not very healthy at all. Um, they don't take care of themselves, you know. Poor judgment call with the judgment reverse. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Maybe it was you. That's in your, your advice card. You, it's time to move on from a bad choice. It is. It's time to make a judgment call based on the truth. You have to acknowledge the truth. You know, and don't feel guilty for being honest with yourself. Maybe you've let yourself go. Maybe you're weak. Maybe you've been weak. You know, there's weakness here. Maybe you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to accept the truth. If you're dealing with somebody that is only... Uh, in it for the money and they're not in it for love then hey maybe you need to find somebody that is more on the same level with you um and you could be dealing with somebody that is has made a decision because of those different values that's what i think is happening the overall outcome is the nine of cups reverse the nine of cups reverse is this is like i wish i never would have got involved with this you know, um, that's a lack of wish fulfillment, Un unable to give or receive love. This is, you could be dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical. This could be like a spoiled individual, a spoiled brat who um, wants to have it all. There could even be somebody here that wants to have their cake and eat it too, okay? And you receive some sort of information that uh, sets you off, okay? Because the page of swords reverse could definitely be losing your cool. Okay, that's 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 like right above you presently. You may be angry. You may be upset. Okay, you may be um, 
I don't know if you're hearing something where, you know, you have no words, you, you, there's nothing left to say. This is a surprise, you know. Um, somebody has, I feel like there's a change of mind. I feel like somebody has changed their mind, you know, they've changed their mind. And um, you could also be dealing with somebody that has some, that is deciding to, uh, well, what they're doing is they're changing their position. And I feel like you're going to be, they're changing, they're, they've changed their mind in some way. I do believe that you're dealing with an arrogant, boastful person. I see that with the strength card reverse and that rooster. So it could be a Leo, could be another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. This is a lack of wish fulfillment. This is not what I asked for. I feel like you're, you, you may have a male here, a male, you know, a masculine energy that is um, really deciding to focus on their abundance. They're try, deciding to, this could be a new business venture, um, really going to uh, make a decision based on their financial, on their fa financials. This is a decision that is being made on financials, on the financial outlook of, of, of everybody involved, put it that way. Um, nine of Cups reverse. This is not happy at all. Not happy. Let's get another card. Missed opportunity. Somebody has missed an opportunity. And I feel like now they're taking it because they're really, really, really not happy. This is like a fool. You could be dealing with an Aries starting over from scratch. We have somebody here that really wants security, you know. They want a new life. They want stability. Stepping into new territory. I feel like this person has stayed in this position for quite some time. And it's like they're ready. They're ready. But there's doubt. There's doubt here, doubt that they will be accepted. Maybe there's been a lot of fear, fear of being accepted, fear of, of <clears throat> change. Excuse my throat. I also feel like there's difficulty in communication. I feel like somebody has been having a very tough time communicating. You know, they've, they've wanted to uh, go in another direction. They've wanted to invest someplace else, but they've been too scared. Interesting. Knight of Swords reverse. That's definitely fear. But this could also be a sudden departure. I feel like you're going to be receiving some news or some information that is an absolute shock. Stepping into new territory, starting over. Somebody's leaving everything behind. It's like I'm just I'm going. I'm going. That's the fool energy. This is this is on a whim. This is spur of the moment decision. And somebody is making a decision to relocate. They are, they're going someplace. There's some sort of abandonment here. There's been some sort of neglect. We definitely have goodbye. This is goodbye. This is leaving the emotionally uh, disappointing situation behind. You know, this is a necessary but painful separation. So there is a separation here. Somebody has made a poor judgment call where they've and maybe there's some bad karma here because of lack of accountability. You know, judgment reverse is bad karma. It's not being held accountable, not wanting to be held accountable, not listening to advice, making bad judgment calls, doing things that are illegal, doing things that are against the law, doing things that are unjust. And I don't need it to be the justice card. Somebody may be getting bad karma. They're not, and they're losing money. They're losing stability for the decisions that they have made. And their only way to have that stability and that abundance is to make better decisions, you know? This is a, I mean, the Nine of Cups reverse is a loss. It is a loss. It's, this is not making me happy. This is not happiness. So somebody is making a decision based on their happiness. And, and there's no, it feels like there's a lack of love here. And there's guilt. There's guilt. There's, it's like, I feel guilty. I feel guilty. You know, you have to do what's right for you. You got to do what's right for you and they need to do what's right for them. We do have guilt here with the judgment reverse. That's guilty. Feeling guilty. 
Ooh, could be dealing with an emperor. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. This could be any sign. This is somebody that is making a decision and to put it right next to the fool and the king of pentacles. So this is could be any sign, but this is somebody that is making a decision based on the facts, based on their financial security, based on the future. This is somebody that is a planner, that has worked hard, that is a very experienced individual. This person has a lot of life experience behind their back. Taking a risk. This person's gonna be taking a big risk making you know following through the plan this may even be a new job or a new business opportunity you know a new uh new business you know a new project next the emperor right next to the king of pentacles could be dealing with and and this is the king of pentacles could be male or female stepping into new territory saying goodbye making a decision a practical decision because the King of Pentacles is very practical. This is somebody that is a leader. This is a leader. So we have somebody here that is, is making a very big decision about stability, about financial stability. And I'm, I'm not sure you're gonna be happy with the decision because the Queen of Cups is in reversed. Justice. I knew it too. So this is a final decision. This is a fair and just decision. Everything turning out as it should. So somebody, and then there may be news of legalities here. This may have to do with some legal contracts. I definitely feel like there's a separation here. There is a separ. I know there is. I know there is. So there is a separation here. I feel like there's there's a separation. I, there could be news that is coming, maybe from a judge or a lawyer. Um, it may not be what you want to hear. It could also be just from a masculine energy that has made a decision. And I'm not sure if you're going to like the decision. Because the Queen of Cups is in reversed. You know, that's a, it's disappointing. It's emotionally disappointing. But this is the best decision for everybody involved. This may even have to do with a father. It may have to do with a father, you know, somebody that is making the best decision for their family. Or this could be a ruler. You know, obviously the emperor can be a ruler. This is somebody that is in a position where they have to make the decision that is best for everybody involved. So there is a decision that is being made. This is a person, this is, this is somebody that is being very logical. They're very intelligent. They're very experienced, extremely experienced. This is about where to go, where to go, where, where's the best place to go? You know, where is it, where's the ground most fertile? It's time. The season is over with the seven of pentacles. The season is over. You there's nothing left here. It's dead. Okay. You have to go someplace else to have that ultimate abundance. So yeah, I feel like we have a separation that leads to a new beginning with that Fool card. Um, leaving everything behind. We got somebody here that is about to step into unchartered territory. I feel like they were scared to do so in the past. They were offered the opportunity in the past. They didn't take it. They didn't take it, but I feel like they're taking it now. This person, this person that is leaving, they're not happy at all. They're not with the nine of cups reverse. This is not happy. This is not it. Okay. This is not what I asked for. You know, this is not making me happy. There's no inner happiness here. This is not what I wanted. One more card. Hermit. Hermit. This is soul searching, becoming enlightened, taking a time out to reflect, going within, realizing, realizing your goals. Or there they are. Somebody is realizing their goals. A wake up call is coming, absolutely. There is a judgment that is being made or a decision that is being made. Um, somebody has been keeping to themselves. They haven't been communicating what, that they aren't happy. They have not been communicating the truth. Here comes some truth. We also have somebody here that's getting, seeing the light. They're seeing the light. They're seeing all that, all that, all that is true, okay? 
They're seeing the truth. They become enlightened. They've got, you know, this is a wake up call. It really is. It's like they're realizing their true identity. They're realizing their true self. They're seeing it all very clearly. There's, so making a decision based on the truth. So that's what's going on here. We may have somebody here that is deciding to act with integrity. Maybe they were in denial or something like that. We do have integrity here. Somebody that is really stepping up to the plate. This is somebody that is ready. They're ready for abundance. They're ready to have it all. They're ready for a new life. They're ready for a new journey. They're ready. They're letting go of their fear. They're stepping into new territory. This is somebody that has made a decision. The decision has been made. This is, this is it. This is like, I've, I know what I got to do. This is, there's no stopping. There isn't no stopping. Some sort of light is being shed on the truth as well. So I don't know if somebody is coming clean or if there is a spy here or a troublemaker that is spilling out some truth which causes a change. Okay. Star card reversed. Kind of like the Nine of Cups reversed. This is, this is, why is this happening? Why is this happening? This is uh, depression, illness, uh, a test, a test of faith. Somebody's faith is going to be tested. There's been, and somebody has been tested. Their wish, their dreams. It's like, this is a dream come true. And they've, somebody has been wishing and praying for abundance, right? I, I want this abundance. I want to be rich. I want this security. You know, I want this title. I want to do this. But they have been too scared. And I see a lot of fear here to take action, to take a risk. Therefore, they've had the financial struggles, you know, they've had the financial hardships and they've invested in this dead end where they've reached the peak. You know, they're, they're not going to get any more. The only thing to do now is to partner up with somebody that has similar skills, that has shared values. I think we have a change in position here. Somebody's giving up. They're giving up. They they are stepping down. They're quitting. It's like they're giving up. They and 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 I wouldn't. And sometimes you know you have to. If it's a dead end. If it's a dead end. If there's no growth, and I can see that there's not. And you know you you're fighting a losing battle. Then perhaps it's time to replace that fear with faith and make the decision that is best for you. Okay, you have to. You, you can't let guilt stand in the way. You know, if somebody can't take care of themselves, then maybe they need to find their own strength to take care of themselves. You know, that's not your problem. And I'm sorry to say that. You don't have to take care of them. They can take care of themselves if they're forced to. It's, it's, it's like flight or fight. You know, you can, you can choose to... Uh, sit around and cry about it or you can get up and do something about it what's it gonna be so i feel like this is a week where there is a big 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 decision that is being made the emperor justice king of pentacles king of swords upright somebody has been thinking a lot with the hermit it's been on their mind a lot with the king of swords as well you're gonna have a, a challenging conversation with somebody could even have to do with law officials i don't know it could we could have legal issues here news of legalities here definitely could have something to do with a legal contract somebody may be signing a new contract with somebody you know they may be getting in a new contract with somebody they want you know this is a new partnership there is a new partnership. Somebody is going to be partnering up with somebody else that they are aligned with, with that justice card. Good luck.